night women feeling science and technology was a project that was designed to explore the intersection of women science and technology so really looking at what is the role of science and technology in advancing human rights more broadly and then most more specifically women's human rights the structure of the project was five online galleries and each gallery presented a series of curated stories that described and illustrated the diversity of women and girls experiences around science and technology. When Global Fund for Women came to us about this Ignite project, we thought it was a great, great way for us to find stories to be able to share globally. Stories to make sure that men and women understood um, how inspiring an individual story could be. The thing that I'm, that I, that I'm most hopeful for is that this project helped to influence a global conversation if it was already taking place, and if not, spark a global conversation about women in technology. We need to change the perception of what it means to be a woman in technology, and what it means to have a career in technology. I believe there are unbounded opportunities for people with creative, technical minds in the future. Inviting women to the table, um, bringing them their thoughts, their ideas, their collaboration, that's going to create an amazing future for human rights and for the rest of our world. Technology is important to the human rights of women and girls because it empowers them to solve the problems that are most critical to them. It's a way for us to be leaders and a way for us to empower ourselves and make a difference in the world. It's a way that we know that we can come up with ideas, whether you're African American, whether you're Mexican, whether you're Portuguese, you're a woman and you can make a difference in the world. So the Technology Fund launches. The possibilities are endless for creativity and innovation around the world, and I invite you to be the spark that helps make that difference. Thank you.